Okay, so story time. But anyway, so my client is a regular. She hit me up on Friday like, hey, can I get my hair done on Sunday? I'm like, all right, okay, cool. What time? She never replies. So Saturday rolls around. I'm like, hey, did you still want to come get your hair done on Sunday? And if so, what time? She never replies to me. So Sunday rolls around. I check my phone at like 9 a.m. I woke up, turned my phone on at 9 a.m. I see her message. And she's like, um, I'm trying to get my ride, my thing open. I'm like, she's like, hey, um, sorry, I, you know, I'm crazy, or whatever. I, I forgot to tell you what time or whatever. And she sent me a deposit. She's like, oh, I sent you the deposit, $50 deposit. I'm like, all right, okay, cool. Mind you, it's Sunday, the day before my daughter's birthday, and we have things to do tomorrow. And on Sunday is when I went shopping for her for all her gifts and stuff. So I text her, I'm like, hey, whoop de whoop, it's cool or whatever, but I'm gonna have to squeeze you in because it's kind of tight today. So she gets mad, she's like, wow, okay. I'm like, well, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow and I have a couple things to do. And so she kind of like gets mad and cops the attitude or whatever. And she's like, um, okay, um, all right. And I'm like, uh, yeah whatever i'll let you know so she kind of get an attitude so then she's like um how about we just don't do it today she's like what's your next availability and i'm like oh i'm available later in the week because i have some things to do right so i have um i have some things to do throughout the week so i say oh, i'm available i think thursday friday and saturday and she's like oh that's too far out for me how about next week all right okay i'm like all right okay so i book her even further out it didn't make sense to me but it is what it is so Sunday came around, whatever, Sunday, and then Monday was my baby's birthday, and Monday, everything was cool. So then on Monday, I text her, and I'm like, hey, you can come on Tuesday or whatever. And I say, um, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Now, saying this on Monday was the baby's birthday, and I didn't know that she was going to wake up Tuesday morning at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know she was going to wake up sick, but she did. So she's super duper sick. Like my baby has like snot nose. She has congestion. Like she's just not feeling good. And we up to like five, six o'clock in the morning trying to deal with my baby. But it was a cool thing for me because I put her to sleep and she kind of slept all throughout the morning. And I had a client that Tuesday that I totally forgot about at like nine in the morning. So me think instead of me thinking like, oh, I can go run to the store and get her a humidifier in the morning. I wasn't able to because I had a client. My daughter slept through that client. Did, did this is a different client did her hair and everything so then i finished that client about like maybe 11 12 o'clock and i run the greeter humidifier run to the beauty supply and buy things that i needed for the this client that was an inconvenience run to the beauty supply get everything i need but my baby is still sick like at this point she's shitting everywhere trying to get the cold out she nose is snot nose running she don't like the nose sucker so i gotta literally suck them out with my mouth like i'm going through hell with my baby right now so at like, I think like maybe like 12, 30, one o'clock, I hit the lady and I was like, hey, I'm gonna have to cancel because my baby is sick. Now, I know that this is the second time that I didn't hit her with the my baby thing and I'm not doing it for sympathy. It's just, this is my real life. You either take it or leave it. So I hit her up at one o'clock. Now on Facebook, it don't show that she got the message. It don't say that she read the message, but she comes to my front door and if you know me, you know I got a ring camera. I got rings all around this motherfucker. I see everything in my house. So as she's walking up, she has hand sanitizer. You ain't never brought hand sanitizer before. If you wasn't trying to get my baby sick, I appreciate you. But the point still remains is that you knew you saw my text when I said my baby was sick. And you still decided to show up to my house. And the grace that I give, because the God, the grace that God gives me is that I was still willing to be like, okay, you know what? Come on in because you drove so far to me. You understand? That, yeah, it's an inconvenience. Yeah, my baby is sick right now, but I know I can put her to sleep. I was finna put her to sleep, and she would have kind of stayed asleep. Maybe for the duration of the service, but I could have had my older daughter take care of her. So I'm like, all right, just come in or whatever. She's like, no, I totally understand. It's cool. Like, um, I'll just come back another time. whoop de whoop Excuse me. My house was a mess because I had opened the humidifier. Baby got toys everywhere. She was kind of trying to play or whatever. So the lady's like, all right, she wants to leave. I said, okay, thank you for understanding. You know, like, I'll get you another time when i can handle you when the baby's not sick because my my children come first i didn't say that but that's just my mindset my children come first and so after that i she she gets her car or whatever and i guess she's like finna leave she gets she sends me a text and she's like um she was like i just feel like i just want to get my deposit back and i just can't do this anymore too much of the up and down attitude 
attitude. Baby, I ain't never gave you no attitude. I don't give nobody no attitude, to be honest with you. Like, I don't have a bad attitude. I don't. Like, I have joy in my heart. I have the peace of God in my soul. So I've never, I don't give people attitudes. Like, I just don't do that. That's just not me. I don't have a bad attitude. I don't have one. But if that's what you see, then that's what you see, baby. I'm going to give it to you. It is what it is. In my mind, it was kind of like you fishing for excuses. So she was like, I'm just going to find another stylist and just send me my $50 deposit back and I'm whatever, whatever. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just send you your deposit back. But after she sent me that message, I didn't say nothing. I put a thumbs up and I probably shouldn't have put a thumbs up because the Holy Spirit told me before this girl messaged me, the Holy Spirit told me he was like, she going to hit you up. And all I want you to do is block her. That's it. The Holy Spirit told me that. He said, when she hit you up, block her and so when she sent me the message all i could do was have uh vindication because it was like it was it was confirmation it was like dang god just told me this god just told me don't even be mad and just block her like literally so i sent a thumbs up being petty that was my soul baby that was my soul that was my flesh that was me being petty i sent her a thumbs up and i blocked her and that was on tuesday so i have not sent her her deposit back <laughs> But I just put this money in this account right now. I'm about to send her the deposit back because I've been busy. Like I said, I have been busy this week. Like literally, I don't even think I've taken any clients since that one Tuesday that I took in the morning. I haven't had any other clients. My baby was sick. Um, my car was messing up. I had to get my big girl ready for school. We had to take the assessment placement test. I think y'all saw that vlog when I was in the car talking. We were at that place. I've been super busy. So now I'm about to send her her deposit back. But I'm only saying all this to say that God already sent me confirmation that she was not the client for me. The fact that she didn't even send me the time was God working in my life and I didn't even know it. You know, so sometimes behind the scene, God can be doing things and you don't even realize it until you sit back and pray about it. Like sometimes you got to talk to God about the stuff that's going on in your life because the pieces all make sense. They all work together for those for the good of those who love the Lord, but you got to see it. You understand? So the whole misunderstanding, everything came together like this, just not the client for you. And where I'm finna go in my next stage of life, I don't need a client like her around because this ain't been the first time or the second time that I've had an issue with this particular client, but it's just the grace that's upon me is so great. And sometimes people don't even deserve your grace. They don't, not your grace, but they don't deserve your presence. You don't deserve my presence enough for me to even be able to bestow grace upon you. You don't deserve it. And for whatever reason, I don't know what this lady done said to me, what this lady done did to me behind my back, but God knows. My father in heaven knows because he sees all. So I'm not even stressed about the fact that I can't have her as a client no more. Because whatever it is, God is protecting me from it at the end of the day, period, point blank. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. But I am about to send her $50 back because God has told me, again, another confirmation, that if you don't get off your ASS, and send her money back you gonna see her in court <laughs> and i ain't trying to see nobody in court i ain't trying to be on nobody judge matt this talk about but god <laughs> i didn't send her her money back because this that and the third i don't believe in that i'm literally not that stylist that's going to keep your deposit because money don't rule me money don't run me like like cash rules everything around me no christ does <laughs> christ rules everything around me okay okay it's the died on the cross for me, God. <laughs> it's the forgive me of my sins, okay? Cash don't cash don't rule everything around me. I'm not the type of solid that's gonna be like, oh, you gotta pay ninety percent of your service up front. You can't get your deposit back. If I'm late, you just gotta deal with it and reschedule. I'm not the type of stylist. I'm literally gonna give you your money back because I could care less. I'm gonna survive without it. I done been dead ass broke before. I know how to survive. Yeah, I know what it feels like to be broke. Yeah, I know what it feels like for people to break your policies and me having to pay for something and it hasn't been able to get get paid the way I plan it. But I know that God has a bigger vision for me. God has a higher purpose for me. And if anything that I need done, God is going to handle it for me. God is going to supply all my needs. And I understand that. So for me to keep your money, that would be selfish of me. Why would I keep your money for something that I needed when I know that God supplies all my needs? No matter what. I know that I'm going to get some money at the end of the day. Somebody just called me this morning trying to buy a wig. Somebody just bought a wig um, the other night off this website that I use, Upgrade Boutique, that I'm probably going to cancel the subscription on because it's just too much drama. But I'm probably not. No, I'm going to cancel that subscription because I don't want that subscription no more. It's just too much drama. It, it just, it, it doesn't work for me the way that my mind works. It doesn't work for me. 
it just it don't work it don't make no sense to me in my mind but um i know that i'm about to have me my own wig boutique store i think that that's what my calling is it's not so much of a salon per se but it's like a wig a, a hair store an indian um raw hair store this is indian raw hair this is my indian raw wave these are crimps that i put in it and these crimps have lasted me months i think i put these crimps in this wig so long ago this is a wig for me to sell but i've been wearing it because i like it but i didn't cut the lace all the way off so if somebody want to buy it you can still buy it i probably put it back on the website because the one i had i cut the bangs and it was real cute and then i cut the bangs some more and it wasn't cute no more it wasn't cute no more and i'm a girl for a middle part i love me a middle part but i can make this one again so it's nothing um and the plans that i have the plans that the lord has for me i know that i'm gonna be able to get some money to get a new vendor get a new shipment of hair whether i keep the same vendor get a new shipment of hair and stock my store up so for me it's not even a big deal but like i said the money don't revolve around me this whole situation is just letting me know i don't need to take the type of clients i was taking i don't need as many clients i don't need to be doing hair like that no more i think i just want to sell hair and have people work for me like that's literally what i want to do and if that's not what god is trying to tell me that's not the confirmation he's trying to give me about that client if it's the fact that she probably was just she did something to me and god was like i don't like that like touch no harm to no to my prophet and touch not my anointed like that's what the bible says so i believe that wholeheartedly god is like you can't do my my anointed wrong you feel me so it is what it is i'm a prophet for the lord and if you're doing me wrong god gonna cast you out of my life i don't need you i don't need a soul in this world like, I, I only need my kids. And even then, when my kids get older, it'll be a time where I don't need them anymore. You understand? Like, and my children won't need me. They have to depend on the Lord for themselves as, as I depend on the Lord for myself and not on my mother. That's why I want to get my car fixed. It's like, I don't have to go through my mother because God supplies all my needs. God makes a way for me. Jesus has bestowed grace upon me. Jesus forgive me of my sins. You feel me? Like, Jesus performed miracles. And this is a miracle within itself that I have the ability to go talk to this man, get his wife's phone number. He was here this Sunday morning. I kept having a vision in my head, like, go to his house, go to his house, go to his house. And yeah, the flesh in me is scared. I'm like, go to this man's house. I don't even know this man like that. What are you talking about, God? But he like, okay. Try me if you want to. Don't do what I say if you want to. But I got to go. That's the end of the story time. My kids is in the house. They ready for me to come on in. They don't even know that I've been here for a good five minutes. But she probably do know because she can sense me because the Holy Spirit works in her as well. But thank y'all for enjoying this vlog. If y'all enjoyed it, please, please leave a comment down below. Let me know that y'all vibe with me. That y'all vibing with me. Just like I'm vibing with y'all. That's why I'm making videos with y'all for y'all whatever type of videos you want to see let me know i'm gonna be sure to try to get those out to you and thank you for vibing with me because this channel is literally just me and my life and how god works and moves in my life and i hope that my stories can kind of give you some type of confirmation or comfort and knowing that jesus is all right okay he's all right with me okay he all right with you too how you doing baby um so yeah thank y'all for watching this vlog i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace